What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the world's first 3D portable gaming console. This is a Nintendo 3DS. Let's go ahead and see if it lives up to the hype. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the box. The 3DS is going to come in two colors. Aqua blue or black. Of course, I have the black version. Prices are the same though, set at $249.99 in the US. Prices might vary depending on what country you are in. So we got a picture of the 3DS on the front. Looks very similar to the outgoing portable model, the DSi. You've got sort of a DS logo we've come to see with the, representing the two screens. We've got some specs on the back talking about a new design. Nintendo 3DS camera, it does take 3D pictures as well, using cameras on the back. Uh, we've got some information on face readers, some air games, and all kinds of other stuff, but that's not overly exciting. Let's go ahead and dig into the box. We will use Senor Stabby here to cut some of the plastic seals, and there are two of them. Slice through one, slice through the other. The 3DS, uh, people were very excited about having a 3D game console. 3D is certainly now the rage, uh, but it is definitely victim to not having a flagship launch title. Uh, games like Mario and Zelda uh, are coming out later on in the year and unfortunately weren't available uh, at launch. So the biggest games at launch were Ghost Recon, there was a Street Fighter game, uh, and Lego Star Wars, I'd say, would probably be one of the flagship titles as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. I've actually not seen one of these yet, nor did I have an outgoing DS or DSi. So I'm very curious to see how this lives uh, up to the hype and certainly the excitement that surrounds it. So Nintendo includes a gigantic uh, operations manual here. So if you want to go ahead and read that, uh, you can. Let's see what else is going to come in here. Looks like there is Air Games AR card. So, uh, or AR games. So you can download games. You can use your Wii points if you've got a Wii or you can buy them. Pull that off. Here we've got, or one of these is going to have the console itself. I think that it's in the middle. There is the console. Push it off to the side for just a minute. Then we'll run through all the specs on it. Probably the first time we're ever going to see it without fingerprints. You can see me in the reflection. There are those two cameras that we were talking about. Feels very light in the hand. Just go ahead and push that off to the side for just a moment and see what else you're going to get in the box. Looks like this is a docking cradle uh, for charging. Uh, if you'd like, you can go ahead and you can see there's a picture of it. Go ahead and sits right down there and will charge. And it appears that it uses a proprietary port. Now let's take a look and confirm if indeed it does because we've got the charging brick. Uh, it looks almost mini USB style, uh, but I do not believe that it is. It is a Nintendo uh, proprietary format, I believe. So now that we've got the 3DS out of the box, let's go ahead and take a look at the console itself. It's got those two 3D capture cameras right on the back. Kind of looks like eyes. If I had a little nose and mouth right there, it'd be smiling at you. Right now, that's only four still pictures. It feels very light in the hand, uh, even with the battery inside. Let's go ahead and open it up. And this is where all of the 3D action is going to take place. It is a glasses three, glasses free 3D. Tried saying that a few times fast. Glasses free 3D, glasses free 3D, glasses free 3D display. So, whew, it's got a motion and gyroscope sensor inside. Uh, the top screen, which is the glasses free 3D, has a resolution of 800 by 240 with 400 pixels allocated for each eye to catch the 3D. The bottom is a resistive touchscreen, meaning it's going to use a stylus. We'll take a look at that in just a moment, which has a resolution of 320 by 240. There's a new way to control the Nintendo DSi, or 3DS rather, I'm going to say that probably mixed those two up. Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo is calling this the Circle Pad. Sort of just an analog stick. We've got the very classic now four-way navigation up, down, left, right that we've seen on pretty much every Nintendo controller dating as far back as the first Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System, which is still one of my favorites. We've got your four buttons here, X, B, A, and Y. You've got what looks like LED indicators. These are actually physical buttons that sort of depress 
denoting select, home, and start. Power button right there. You've got two speakers and you've got a still camera for taking non-3D pictures. And when you take 3D pictures, by the way, with those eyes on the back, of course you'll be able to view them uh, right here on the screen. Continuing our tour, we've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, the LED indicators, you've got power and charging. If we keep going on to the left, we're gonna have a micro SD card. It's gonna come installed with a two gig card. You can go ahead and up that if you wanna download games or whatever, there's a ton of things that are available. Uh, you can use your Wii points, I believe. So if you've got a Wii or you've got access to buying some Wii points, uh, you can use them here on your 3DS. See how many times I call this the DS or the DSi. Uh, it's got a volume, not really a rocker, but it's more of a lever. On the top, this is where a lot of the action is going to take place. That's where you're going to charge it. This is where the cartridge is going to go. We'll talk about that in just a minute. And talking about that resistive touchscreen, this is a stylus you are going to use for that. Uh, if you've used a DS, DSi, DSi Lite, DSi XL, or DS XL, uh, you're going to be very familiar with this. You use this uh, when you're navigating. Because it is resistive, you do not have to use the stylus. You can try and use your finger uh, as well. It makes its contact through pressure. Uh, we've seen the resistive touchscreen uh, used in a lot of smartphones, although a lot of touchscreen technology, in fact, most touchscreen technology, uh, has gone away from the resistive method. So we'll go ahead and close this up, pop the styli right back in place. Let's see what else we've got. Looks like we've got an infrared port. You're going to have two shoulder buttons, left and right, for when you're gaming. So if you open it up, that's how your hands are going to sit. They'll naturally get access to those two shoulder buttons. And now that we have it open, let's take a look at 3D stuff. Uh, this is a 3D lever. Uh, it uses something called stereoscopic 3D. Uh, if you remember baseball cards that you get in the pack that sort of look 3D as you moved them, uh, that's similar technology here. Um, as I tried to say in my tongue twister, no glasses are needed here, but you do have to be uh, sitting at a right angle and be viewing this at the right angle as well to get that 3D effect. Yet to be seen sort of how the 3D is going to work. Unfortunately, I can't just snap uh, some video of the 3D and you guys will see it in 3D. It's just gonna look uh, 2D, unfortunately. Uh, so if you want to pick one of these guys up, it's going to set you back again, $249.99. Two colors, aqua, blue, and black. This is of course the black version. Um, not many big games at launch, as I mentioned. Uh, the two that were most interesting to me, and I asked you guys on Twitter what you thought uh, should be picked up. And the first title that everybody said you should try is the Super Street Fighter 4. And you can see that sort of baseball card 3D technology I was talking about, the stereoscopic, you can see kind of an effect trail. It's not gonna look 3D to you, but you can sort of tell it when you drag your finger over and you hear that noise. So I've got Super Street Fighter 4, and I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, and I'm also not afraid to admit that I do like the Lego games. I know this hasn't gotten the best reviews, but here is Lego Star Wars 3. I have actually opened up to save some unboxing time. Star Wars, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the boxes are gonna look like. Tiny little cartridge is gonna go there. You're gonna get a book. Speaking of said tiny little cartridge, here it is, and this is very, very, very small. Uh, fully backwards compatible with DS, DSi, DSi Lite games, uh, all that business. Uh, you're gonna get about three and a half to five hours of battery life while using 3DS games, uh, a bit more when you're using the backwards compatible games. Let's go ahead and see how the cartridge fits into this guy. Assume it faces out. And it does indeed, and if you wanna eject it, just go ahead and push in. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. I have already uh, set up the date and the wireless and all that kind of business. Uh, this does have Wi-Fi connectivity. So we'll go ahead and power it on. I'll show you the splash screen. And I'll show you some hands-on in the video as well, even though you're not gonna be able to see 3D. Sort of I'll walk you through and show you whether or not I think that the 3D is even uh, apparent. Street Fighter's in there, you can see the Street Fighter logo. Oh, it's probably gonna look super weird on camera. Um, every time you move, when you see one of these in person, uh, the screen tends to change a little bit, like those baseball cards we talked about. So I don't know if you're gonna get any effect on camera here when you look at that, um, but very uh, different and weird. Although the 3D effect does seem to work. Uh, the bottom screen here is just your standard resistive touch screen, no 3D-ness uh, going on there. So guys, what do you think about the Nintendo 3DS? You excited, not excited? You're waiting for the Sony PSP2, NGP, whatever they're gonna end up calling it. Uh, I really like to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, I'll be doing all kinds of impressions and stuff here with the Nintendo 3DS. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech news. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.